what's going on dudes it's mitch or mage and canadian here with something super awesome it's been a very long time since we have played this game and you all know what it is based off of what's on screen right in front of your beautiful eyeballs that is right roller coaster tycoon 2 we're gonna dive back into it and uh play ourselves perhaps a little series and that's gonna be totally dependent on all of you out there so if you want to see more of benja's fun land here more of the roller coaster insanity be sure to show some love pass this video around share with your friends whatever you got to do it would very very much be appreciated and other than that we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this in the very first episode of the benja park and i think we're gonna go ahead and do something different this time around we're gonna do the rock and roll flower power and the mission of this game is very simple. A large annual music festival takes place on your land. Build a hip theme park to keep the free-spirited audience entertained. The objective? Have at least 1,500 guests in your park at the end of October year 2 with a park rating of at least 600. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's a game where you get to create your own theme park. So you get to choose different uh, roller coasters, water slides, all sorts of attractions, little thrill rides. We've got a uh, giant spider movie ride here. So you get to do all kinds of really cool stuff. My personal favorites, of course, the food and drink here. Look at this. T-shirts, pretzels, popcorn, fries, chicken nuggets. It's so beautiful. So many great things at once. And you can research new ones if you'd like to by going simply here to the research funding. And uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get more of my favorite. Shop stalls and thrill rides, yeah boy. And you can also do all sorts of cool things with marketing to get more guests to come to your park. Um, and quite simply put, you're just an awesome tycoon who's building a really awesome park. And in this case, I have a rock and roll <laughs> festival zone to work with. So there's a little stage here, some speakers jamming out. They're bumping. And right now I have $10,000 to spend. There's absolutely nothing in the park. I wonder if it's even open. Are we open for business? No, we are currently closed. The Woodstock Rock and Roll Festival Park is closed for business as of now. And look at all these cool decorations. These cars are all just scenery here in our park. And uh, we've got this big slate to work with. The canvas is ready. And I think it's time we <laughs> get on into it. So I think what I'm gonna do to begin um, just because you don't want your guests to roam around too crazily is I'm gonna go ahead and take um, the path here and I'm gonna delete some of this. Uh, let's delete a little more so we know exactly where the cutoff is and I'm gonna do the same over here because this will prevent our guests from roaming around when we open up the park because there's no sense